Even though it is rainy this week and we've seen rain the past few weeks, Washington and areas are still in a drought. We want to bring in Evan Arani this morning for a better look at what we can expect moving forward. Good morning. Jen. Yeah, good morning, and that's right. You mentioned the drought uh, that we've been seeing, and that's why this rain is especially important uh, for the farmers of central Washington and eastern Washington, uh, where we could use plenty of additional rain showers. Of course, the question is, how long will these showers continue? And uh, in the month of you know June, July, August, will we see enough rain, wetting rain, meaning more than a tenth of an inch of rain in one day, uh, to be able to kind of uh, damper those wildfire concerns? Because we know Usually that wildfire smoke is a primary concern for late August and early September. Uh, if we see rain and we continue to see it, then this could kind of maybe put those uh, fears aside for a small period of time. Uh, rainfall so far today has been uh, great. We've seen more than a tenth of an inch in Spokane, in Pullman, and in Lewiston. Nothing so far in Coeur d'Alene and nothing in Moses Lake. But boy, uh, hey, give it a couple hours and we'll see additional showers in the forecast. But Central Washington is going to be the spot that uh, we'll probably see the lightest accumulation accumulations of rain, but uh, for eastern Washington, for north Idaho, accumulations could be upwards of an inch, maybe even reaching two inches at times. 53 degrees outside with easterly winds. You see a wind gust forecast here that shows a lot of purple on the screen into your afternoon. By the time we get to 7 p.m. across the eastern slopes of the Cascades and around central Washington, purple on the screen indicates 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts, and that's where we have a wind advisory in effect from 2 p.m. until 8 p.m. Things become uh, a lot more widespread into the rest of the day and the overnight hours. By Thursday morning, we're picking up on those 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts across the Idaho and Montana border and around the Palouse and the Spokane area. Here's what we have right now. You can see those showers are just slow and steady moving toward the Spokane area. I'll pause this at where we are right now. The bulk of activity is happening south of I-90, but still some showers are up along the Idaho and Montana border. You can see uh, those heavier areas of moisture just around the Wallace area, farther off to the west of Wallace, and then just south of Ritzville, where we see the yellow and orange popping up, indicating moderate to heavy downpours of rain at times. Uh, walking through Future Tracker, you can see by the time we get to about 1130, so in the next couple hours, we'll see the drizzles that have already really begun in the Spokane area continue to intensify. By the time we get into the evening hours, we could run into a few thunderstorms. We've got some yellow and orange popping up on the screen there, including around the Spokane area. And then those showers begin to subside by early Thursday morning. Thursday is going to be a mostly dry day, but include a drizzle at times. It's not going to be particularly intense for Thursday. Friday is going to follow suit, and then we'll move toward dry conditions as we head towards Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures today are going to be much colder than normal. We'll be mainly in the 50s, 54 for Coeur d'Alene, 56 for Sandpoint, 59 for Kalispell. Spokane is expected to just hit about 60 degrees and 69 degrees in Wenatchee this afternoon. Seven day forecast shows that we keep cooling down and continue with the trend of some showers in the forecast through your Friday. And then we start to see drier conditions move in for the weekend. Your Memorial Day looking warmer than normal, 68, maybe uh, nearing 70 degrees and uh, hopefully going to see dry skies, but could encounter maybe a mountain shower or two. This forecast is over on our website. That's creme.com weather. We'll take a quick break and be back with more Up With Crime after this.